What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement walkthrough for Justice Sucks. This game is published by Tiny Build and it's developed by Samurai Punk. You can pick the game up today for a price of $19.99. So to get the full completion, you'll have to finish all 20 of the story missions with an S rank. I have another video for that up on my channel if you'd like to check it out. You'll also have to finish a couple of the bonus missions in order to unlock all of the abilities and perks. So in this video, I'm only going to be showing you the miscellaneous achievements. I'll have timestamps to each of them so that way you can easily find the ones that you're looking for. Alright, so starting off, the first miscellaneous achievement is Ice Ice Baby for killing an enemy by shattering their ice block. You can do this in the second level after finishing the tutorial. The level is called McLean Home First Blood. First off, you'll need to weaken one of the enemies and then lure them over to the refrigerator in the kitchen and then hack it to freeze them. And once they're frozen, you need to kill them by shattering their ice block. You can do that by throwing a projectile at them or using another trap. You'll learn how to suck and throw projectiles after the second tutorial in the void world. So once you have the enemy weak, go ahead and freeze them and then shatter the ice block and that'll unlock the ice ice baby achievement. Alright, and next up, while you're on the same level here, you can also get the burning up achievement for killing an enemy with fire tick damage for this one. Again, you want to slightly weaken an enemy and then lure them over to the fireplace and hack it to set them on fire. And then they should run away and die to the fire damage and that'll unlock the burning up achievement. Alright, so next up we can get a few achievements in the Cyber Cruise Rescue Mission level. Starting off, we're going to get the Perpetrator achievement for killing an enemy using the cat. So the cat spawn location is slightly random. Sometimes it spawns in the bar area, and for me personally, I found it outside next to a bush. So you may have to look around for a bit, but once you find it, you need to weaken an enemy and then shoot the cat at them and finish them off using the cat and that'll unlock the perpetrator achievement. Also right here, I used the little umbrella trap and I accidentally knocked an enemy off into the water and that unlocked the overboard achievement. Next up, while you're here, we can also get the beach please achievement for equipping a fish as well as the free willy achievement for rescuing all of the fish in cyber cruise. So make your way into the bar area, throw a projectile at the fish tank to break it and then from there you need to suck up all three of the fish and throw them off the boat into the water. Be careful not to let any of the enemies attack you while you have a fish equipped or else it'll disappear. So once you throw all three of the fish into the water, that'll unlock the free willy achievement. Alright, and next up we can unlock the peer pressure achievement for destroying every toilet in Cyber Cruise. So make your way down here into the bathrooms and you can hide in the stalls. And you need to hack the two urinals as well as the two toilets. And once you destroy all four, that'll unlock the peer pressure achievement. Next up, we can get the perfect landing achievement for eating an enemy by landing on their head. So starting off, you want to weaken an enemy to one hit, and then from there, you need to lure them to the edge of the boat down here by the jet skis. Drop down on one of the jet skis, and that'll bounce you up into the air. And you need to land on the enemy's head, and it should kill them, and that'll unlock the perfect landing achievement. Alright, and last but not least, we can get the getting jiggy with it achievement for killing three enemies using the dance floor trap. This one is pretty annoying. You need to weaken three enemies to one hit, and then from there, lure all three of them to the dance floor trap and hack it to kill them. And if you do it correctly, that'll unlock the achievement. You can also hide under the stage and ping the trap using RB to lure all of the enemies. Alright, and next up on the Turtle Club level, we can get a few different achievements, starting off with the War Has Changed achievement for equipping and hiding under a box. So starting off, you want to make your way all the way over to the other side of the map.
Once you get over here, you want to head up the ramp, and up here you'll find a box that you can suck up and equip. And once you do that, that'll unlock the War Has Changed achievement. And then from there, we can drop down back to the middle area. And over here, you'll find a little vent that you can go through. And then from there, you want to follow this secret path until you reach another vent. And inside will be the gun. And once you equip it, that'll unlock the American Dream achievement. Alright, and next up we can get the Disco Inferno achievement for killing an enemy while the Disco Ball is on their head. So starting off you want to weaken an enemy and then drop the Disco Ball on their head and finish them off and that should unlock the achievement. Next up, we can get the Shaken Not Stirred achievement for killing three enemies with one bartender bot attack. This one is pretty annoying, so starting off, you want to weaken three enemies to one hit, and then from there, lure them over to the bartender bot, and hack the trap, and kill all three of them to unlock the achievement. Next up, you can get the Murder on the Dance Floor achievement for killing 5 enemies with the Mosh Pits and the Turtle Club. Thankfully, this achievement is cumulative and it doesn't have to be in one go. So starting off, you want to lure an enemy down to the Mosh Pits and then stun them using a projectile or the speakers. And then from there, you can suck them into the Mosh Pits and eventually they should die. Repeat that process until you unlock the achievement. Sadly, I don't have footage of this achievement unlocking since I accidentally unlocked it when I wasn't recording. So apologies for that. Alright, while you're here, you can also get the high fashion achievement for finishing a level with an animal equipped. I believe you can do this with the fish, the cat, the turtle, or the dog. Personally, I'm going to be doing it with the turtle in the club on the defuse the bombs level. The turtle does move around a little bit, so you'll have to look around for it. Once you have the turtle, simply finish the level with it equipped, and that'll unlock the achievement. Next up, on the Terminal 4 level, we can get a few achievements, starting off with the You Will Be Sucked achievement for sucking an enemy into the jet engine. Head over to the left side and you should see the engine, simply lure an enemy over to it and then hack it and that should suck them in and unlock the achievement. While you're here, we can also get the Rip and Tear achievement for equipping the chainsaw. Head over to the secret path and make your way up here and you'll find the chainsaw inside the plane. Simply equip it and that'll unlock the achievement. Alright, and next up on the Family Corp HQ infiltration level, we can unlock a couple of achievements, starting off with the 10th Prestige VAC achievement for killing two enemies with one Claymore. You need to follow this path that I take here, and eventually you're going to come to a vent that will lead you to a locked room, and inside we can pick up the Claymore. Once you make your way into the room here, you can go ahead and equip the Claymore. From there, you're going to need to weaken two enemies and then group them up by pinging a trap. And then from there, you can go towards them with the Claymore and it should automatically detonate. And if you kill both of them, that should unlock the achievement. Next up, while you're here, you can also unlock the hacker achievement for killing a guard with the cameras. So you want to head into this room here, make sure there's no guards, and you can safely hack these cameras here. And then from there, you just need to have one of the cameras kill a guard, and that'll unlock the achievement. Again, I won't show this one on screen since I accidentally unlocked it when I wasn't recording. Next up, we can get the hot dog achievement for killing an enemy using the dog. You can get this later on in the Family Corp infiltration level, or if you want a really close spawn location, I recommend using the delivery bonus level that you unlock after the game. If you play the delivery level, you should spawn right next to the dog, simply weaken an enemy, and then finish them off using the dog, and that'll unlock the achievement. <laughs>
Alright, so next up on the HQ rooftop level, we can get the perfect achievement for defeating RoboPal 9000 without taking any damage. So starting off, you can equip the battery boosters to your stamina, that way you can dodge more. So the first phase here isn't too bad, you can punch by using the X button, you block with the left trigger, and you dash using A. I like to walk towards him and punch him, and then immediately hold down the left trigger and spam X at the same time he attacks, and your character should automatically counter it. The timing is a bit tricky, but once you learn it, you should be able to get this first phase with ease. And another method is you can dash behind him and hit him from the back, and keep repeating that process over and over again. And if you ever take damage, just restart the level and try again. So just like that, that is the first phase done. And now for the second phase, you're just going to have some enemies here that are going to come try to attack you. You can just keep spamming the X button and you should automatically take all of these guys out here. Alright, so for the third phase, this is where it gets hard. Again, I just recommend dodging behind him and hitting him from the back and just keep repeating that process over and over again. And eventually, if you get lucky enough, you'll be able to finish the fight. So again, as you see here, I just like to dodge behind him, hit him from the back, and repeat that over and over again. And you want to be careful, sometimes he does do like a fire attack where he breathes fire. If that's the case, you just have to go all the way over on the left or right side, far away from him. Alright, and for the final phase here, all you have to do is just spam X a bunch, and eventually you'll defeat him, and your achievement will take a while to pop, it pops after the credits. So if it doesn't pop right away, don't worry, it should pop after the credits, as you'll see here in a few seconds. Alright, I went ahead and edited the credits out, but once you get to the credits, that should unlock the perfect achievement if you defeated him without taking damage. Alright, and last but not least, if you don't already have them, we can get the emotionally charged achievement for electrocuting 5 enemies at once, as well as the that group is on fire achievement for setting 5 enemies on fire. I recommend doing this on the McLean Home Elimination bonus mission that unlocks after finishing the story. There's already a bunch of enemies spawned in and they're walking around, and all you need to do is just honk your horn and gather 5 of them together, and you can set off one of the mini electric traps. Personally, I'm going to use this one here, kind of near the living room. Gather up five of them, ping the trap, activate it, and electrocute them, and then I'll unlock the achievement. And while you're here, you can also use the fireplace and set five enemies on fire, and that'll unlock the that group is on fire achievement. And that's the achievement walkthrough for Justice Sucks. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful, and please consider subscribing for more guides just like this if you're new here. And I will see you guys next time. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Spanji1. Tim G84, Fazo Prime Pirate, and Monarch Reptar. Last but not least, shout out to my Patreon legend, Niku no Ni Oi. If you guys would like to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash cheetahsguides.